Hello, welcome to the week where I get shit done. So in case you don't know, I am a resident physician and doing my intern year, which in the United States is my first year after graduation. And one of the things in my year, which I'm doing transitional year, is I have to take my step three before I graduate in June. Right now I'm on vacation and I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't use your vacation to study, but I needed to because during the work week, I get really tired and I didn't want to feel like, oh my God, I have to go home and do 80 questions a day. So my goal this week is to get as much done as possible so that while I'm revising to work I'm doing less question loads and also I have time for other things because in this exam which is a two-day exam you also have CSS cases so it's like clinical cases that you have to prepare for as well all that jazz so this is my productive get shit done week as well as finish a bunch of books that I have ongoing so the first book that I'm gonna be getting finished with and I'm really excited about is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber this is the third book in the series and I'm currently around let me check my audible I actually have the physical copy of this book but I have listened to all of the audiobooks of this book. I like Rebecca Siller. She's the audiobook narrator. I wanted to continue listening to it because why not? So I'm around like 40% through this book. I have to say I like it but I my big complaint with Stephanie Garber books is that every book does not feel the same in the sense of the formatting is different, the sort of storytelling, the plot, the lore and magic. Instead of like us having this like magic system world building that was established from the first book that we're building on it, it just feels like a different world completely. In this one, I've just been thrown off by the fact that there's now three POVs and in none of her other books, there have been any of the male POVs. So I'm just like, what? What is going on? Also how she changes like the lore, <laughs> but I do like it. I like her writing style and I get to enjoy it. I just have accepted that her books tend to be inconsistent when it comes to actually like the world building and she probably needs like a story bible but that's my opinion that's my opinion let's get to work because i'm not reading anything until i finish and we'll take you along this journey of how i'm productive studying at this point is a lot different than it was when i was in med school because at this point the things that i'm studying i've already studied for two different tests and this test is nothing different other than like the clinical management part which i've been doing at work every day so i've been kind of preparing for it through my practice but now i'm like fortifying my knowledge and making sure that like i am stable what i'm thinking and the science behind it all match up so gotta get to my questions you don't know what you don't know until you don't know it it is 5 47 i've done 120 questions approximately i say approximately because i've done a couple like here and there that weren't in the question banks that i did some from yesterday and some from today that was like two extra ones i exhausted i finished the ethics and psychiatry units with the last one that I wanna to do today. Let's just get into it. My eyes hurt. As you can tell, I'm sunburned. This is the Notorium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. It was a sample in a recent order. And let me tell you, it feels fantastic. Really chilled out of the freezer. Oh my God, I'm gonna want like an ice roller after this. I don't know, I've been very mindful of the messages I tell myself and the positive remarks that I give myself and just like making sure that in moments that maybe I'm like having a bad day or I'm feeling bad, just taking time for self-care. I think that's been something that's been really missing from my life in these last couple of months. I really realized that once I had a bunch of free time and I was like, not free time, but like once I wasn't working and I was like, oh my God, like my well is so, so empty. <laughs> this is your, you know, PSA, your daily reminder to take care of yourself and to always prioritize your mental and physical well-being, even if you're in a high stress environment. And I know, I know how hard it is because I'm there, I'm in it. I have a very stressful job, but it's totally worth it at the end. So I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. I'm gonna go to bed because I did 160 questions today. So I am exhausted. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Tuesday. So today we are back. We are doing questions. 160 was a lot. So we're gonna try to do a little bit less today, like maybe 140. If I can make it to 160, like wow, I'm impressed with myself. But it was a lot, especially because it was like social and psych. And those aren't things I deal with every single day. So that's why it was like a lot, a lot. You know, that's what these questions are for. And that's why people say like the most thing that you can do when you're studying for your step three is questions. And I argue the same thing for step two and one because you just need to get used to the formatting and also like 
reintroduce yourself to the information i don't deal with things of like ethics or psychiatry daily uh so it's good to know like the laws especially things like on health insurances and stuff like those i was so rusty so yeah today i'm doing infectious diseases and ent ent i know very little of <laughs> But infectious diseases, I know a little bit because it is something very common that we deal with in the hospital. So yeah, I'm just looking and the sun's coming out. So I hope that doesn't change the lighting too much. But I'm just looking to finish those two. And I'm kind of going per section because that's what I find easiest. What I do is I mark the ones that I get wrong or the ones that I get right kind of by chance. So that I can redo those. And then at the end, also do my incorrect again by the end of that. So hopefully I will live reviewed everything a couple times but i'm doing good honestly step three is a lot simpler than the other two because like you get it also wanted to update on a curse for true love which i have been reading and i'm on chapter 23 which i listen like stephanie garber isn't for everyone and you know like i am criticizing it but like i like the books but i'm just like at this point like come on like, why are we doing this again? So the whole premise of this book, a little mild, mild spoiler, but I guess it's not because you don't know why, the main character lost their memory. It's kind of her trying to recuperate it and like the forces that may are like manipulating her like they do in all the books. <sighs> like she's just not like the brightest. She's not the brightest pink topaz in the bunch. You know what I'm saying? That's not Evangeline Fox. Evangeline Fox is sweet. She is kind she is trusting but she is not very wise and she's kind of being driven by the plot once again because that's kind of like the mo of these characters in stephanie garber books the mood and like the life kind of makes up for it but i'm just kind of at the point where i'm a little bit fed up that every single book is like a new book even in the same series you're getting introduced to like lore in the last book of a series which i feel like should have been introduced earlier on either in the first or second book so that we feel like this payoff coming out we're gonna finish it i'll probably give it a good review either way because i do enjoy it i just like can recognize as someone that writes and as someone that has learned about like story structure and all that that it is a messy messy book and i feel like like if you're going in for like the right i would not use this to like learn how to write do you know what i'm saying maybe like descriptions which also people also criticize because she spends way too much time describing what the lady's wearing but in spanish we say para gusto los colores um which means like for the likes the colors so yeah i'm gonna get to work i spent a lot of the morning looking at the goodreads choice awards nominees i'll see you later let's get to work So I am joined by these two lovely dogs and I am sitting on the couch at my partner's house because I cannot, cannot study at home today or at a desk and I even tried sitting at the table earlier to see if I could study it and it wasn't working. I've only done 40 questions today so you know it's, it's going slow. I also had to change from the potions back to studying. Hello, it is Wednesday. My vacation is slowly coming to an end. Oh my God. I already have like Monday blues and it's not even five days till Monday. But anyways, I did 140 questions yesterday and I just went to sleep because I got a bit of a headache. I did infectious diseases yesterday. I also finally made it to chapter 30 of A Curse for True Love. So that's exciting. That's exciting for us. We're making progress, lots of progress. This is where we're at. I am happy that our main character finally got her memories back because like, let me tell you, I don't like that trope. <laughs> I feel like I like it in a second book. I think that's where I think it will hit the best. But in a third book in a series, like I need to see some progression at this point, you know? Either way, it seems like I have. 20 chapters to go. The rest of the chapters seem pretty short though. And I only have an hour and 30 minutes left of the book. So hopefully today amongst my breaks and everything, I will catch up. The first thing I wanna do is a question block and then at 12, maybe start working out and then see how life takes me. So bottoms up. I will always go back to Aquaphor no matter what. I'm kind of feeling down today and I don't really know what to do about it. I think I might finish some questions and then maybe go to the beach or something. Rejuvenate my spirit, water therapy as they say. So I finished A Curse for True Love and I have thoughts and not all of them are positive. So I am a 
bit disappointed, not with the ending, because I feel like the ending was what I expected it to be, and also it left it open-ended for continuation of the series, so I feel like the book that's gonna come out in like 50 or so days that Stephanie Garber announced, like right after the ending of the Curse for True Love and also like during Yalfas is gonna be like the continuation of this with like two characters. I think I already know which ones they are. Let me know who you think it is and I'll let you know if it's who I think it is. But I would say that I feel like Stephanie Garber's books kind of suffer the same curse of the North that the books in her book have where the story just changes as it suits her and I feel like things don't actually pay off the way that you really want them to. I feel like one of my big gripes with this book is that I didn't feel like the villain and this was the same thing that happened in the Carval series that like the like the final boss in the last book wasn't built up as to be the the final boss. Didn't feel like it was like authentic. It didn't feel like it was deserved and also like I feel her characters get off a bit too easy like at the end of the day like I'm not seeing people dying <laughs> and not everyone has to die you know but like for how high the stakes supposedly are they're never actually that high and another thing that kind of just like left me like I don't know how I feel about this is that like Jack says like from what I still understand he's immortal still maybe I'm wrong let me know and Evangeline isn't so how does that work out? for them like is she just gonna like continue aging and he's gonna stay young forever it's not my favorite i think that the ending was as like clean as it was gonna be but the action truly started in the last 50 percent of the book and it felt rushed at the end and it just wasn't my favorite so that's disappointing but you know the next vlog will be better because it has to be better as for my studying it's been going i am really stressed but i'm really trying to control it especially because yesterday i saw this documentary called like live to 100 and one of the big things that they said was like you have to control your stress like you cannot live in a constant state of stress so i'm really trying to keep it under control with different techniques that i do like exercise meditating and all that jazz and like kind of nourishing myself still and making time for like connection and community and everything while also studying so today my big focus is to do like 120 questions but you don't have to stick around for that i'll see you in the next one and let me know down below if you like the curse for true love if this is just like a me thing or what like i think it might be a me thing because everyone seems to have loved it and i do think that this is just like one of those things you know i feel like this year has just not been my year for five star reads i think i have like literally like maybe four so far this year so we'll see i have big plans for the month of december and the rest of november so i'll keep you posted bye